welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to see part 2 of the 5 series tetris game development using javascript please have a look on part 1 if you have not seen it before for better continuity you can watch step by step of this game development feel free to pause the video to relook on any lines of code Hope you will enjoy to play the Tetris game developed by yourself. Before going to the video, please subscribe and click like button if not already subscribed. So far we have written display game over function which brings the last end screen and displays game over at the center of the Tetris canvas also we have uh, started writing the cyclic function which will be called or call is initiated from the windows api request animation frame uh, now we will start to bring the different tetrix block elements for that let me check using if tetris next block uh, we will now see what this tetris next block should be uh, let me declare this tetris next block variable and that shall get initialized by calling the function get tetris next block so get tetris next block is going to do the functionality which will provide the objects of the net next tetrix block that should come from the top so first i'll declare const uh, name and um, provide the string i for the const here i'm just going to give the fixed tetris uh, block i later we will see how to randomly make the blocks available i will also have the variable matrix which will take from tetris block array soon we will declare this tetris block array uh, the initial column for the tetris block shall be 4 and uh, the row shall be minus 1 uh, i am giving minus 1 which is less than 0 so that it will start above our tetris field or the canvas we will return the object from this function consisting of name matrix matrix is the tetris element shape which we will soon make column and the row these are the four objects that will be returned by this function get tetris next block and this is the main one where we are going to design the the name is the one which says the name for the tetris block and the matrix is the actual design for the tetris block always let us start from column 4 we have a total of 10 columns and row we will start just above the topmost row that is why i have given row as minus one we will now go and uh, start de declaring our tetris block array let me declare const tetris block array and uh, this shall consist of uh, name i and the design we will achieve it by using two by two matrix uh, 3 by 2 matrix I'll first declare you just have two rows and three columns in each rows I'm going to uh, define I uh, Tetris block as three continuous block in a row then I will also declare one more array called as Tetris block color which will have the 
color associated for each of our Tetris block. Now for I, I will give the color as uh, say Sion. Uh, now we have de uh, designed only one Tetris block I and its corresponding color and by fixed method this only I block will be coming up. We will verify this code before adding more Tetris blocks. Now within the cyclic function if there is a valid Tetris next block which is nothing but the return from the function get tetris next block the tetris next block returns objects consisting of name matrix start column and start row for the tetris block here the only block we have defined is i if there is a valid next tetris block let me check if the count is greater than 30 because this is a cyclic function I have the flexibility to have the variable count and keep incrementing once the count reaches 30 we will increment the row that is we will move the tetris down by one position so after every 30 count the row the tetris will keep moving down by one row that is what we are writing tetris next block row is incremented by 1. So let us declare the variable count as 0 initialize to 0 which will be incremented within the function cyclic provided there is a valid tetris next block is available. Now on reaching the count of 30 we are we have incremented the row by 1 one from the current row position we will now have to update the tetris block in our canvas so for that first we will give the fill color as the color that we want to give for each tetris block element so i'll call our array tetris block color and pass the tetris block dot name so we will also uh, have to start for loop first for loop for the row and the second for loop for the column And within this we will call our rectangle so the first uh, for loop is running till length of the matrix of the tetris next block element and the second for loop is till the length of the tetris next block matrix column size so if there is a value in that matrix if we recollect our i has first row all zeros only second row has ones so tetris next block of matrix of x and y has been set to one then for that corresponding position we will draw or fill a rectangle this fill rectangle will take four parameters as we have already seen we are going to fill till grid minus one so that there is a border of black color around each rectangle now the first one will be the tetris next block width which is here the column which should be added with the matrix column that's why and the whole thing should be multiplied by the grid value so that the second grid starts at the end of the first grid similarly for the row it is tetris next block dot row plus the current row in the tetris next block the whole thing should be multiplied by grid to get the start of 
the row at the right position this is a important one so once again i will closely show the code context dot fill rectangle is y which is the array column array and that is added with tetris next block dot column multiplied by the grid similarly row value is passed x plus tetris next block multiplied by grid we could successfully see that our i tetris block is moving from top to bottom as we have not reinitiated once again i will show you in the preview window you can see it has started from the top and gone out now uh, there is a uh, as only one block i is coming up we will define other uh, tetris blocks that we want for our for our game development let me call uh, next block as j as the name indicates we will uh, uh, design such a way that in the first row last column will be set to 1 and in the second row all three columns will be set to one so that it is almost looking like the j and uh, the tetris block color for uh, j shall be um, say shall be blue so we have now two tetris blocks defined i and j uh, in the function get tetris next block we have hard coded the block name as i now i will change it to j and check uh, uh, yes the j block is also working it moves one row down as we expected Uh, now we have uh, just i and j we will plan to have seven blocks let me call the third tetris block as l actually j looks like l so i am changing j design and l i am designing such a way the first element in the first row is set and the second uh, row is all uh, columns of that row is set and the fourth tetris block uh, let me call it as yes so as the name indicates uh, we will set the value such a way that it, it just imitates like an yes similarly uh, the fifth block uh, we will uh, call it as uh, say z uh, z uh, shall be the mirror image of yes so it shall be the mirror image of uh, yes and then um, after is it uh, the sixth element uh, let us call it as um, say t t is with 0 1 0 and uh, next row is all ones and the seventh and the last tetris block shall be called as zero and the zero is uh, can be just two by two matrix with all uh, values in the row and column shall be set to one uh, this is our seventh 
Tetris block. So with this we have made a designed uh, block I, J, I think then L, S, Z, T and O. Except O, all other six blocks are 2 by 3 matrix rectangular rectangular matrix whereas O is the only square matrix later we may have to change all matrix to square matrix because doing a rotation with key operation is easy if it is a square matrix but as of now we will limit what is needed same time we will also provide color for all our blocks tetris blocks uh, i is cyan uh, j is blue and um, we will subsequently define the colors for um, l o s t z we have now just given the uh, names of object we have to give the values which is the color for these names um, we will choose to give the random colors uh, you may be free to use your own interested colors for this tetris block you are also free to uh, design each of these elements which i have used in tetris block you can experiment with different designs and see its look uh, now i have chosen uh, the colors uh, for i c on j blue l orange o l o s uh, with green T and red and the last Z is with purple. And now coming back to the cyclic function, we will temporarily comment out uh, uh, filling the grid uh, 10 by 10 so that we have the background as black color. We have the background black color and our eye block was working okay now we will try the next block j j is also okay then we will try l l is also starting from above the row and moves down each rows goes off screen o is also fine uh, yes is also visible t is red in color and I think the last one we have to try is Z. Z is also K, which is purple color. We have tested all our seven blocks. We are getting displayed. 